Okay, this is a quick overview of the different columns and what this spreadsheet records. Okay, um, first of all, uh, we can accommodate uh, uh, 250 pupils. Um, I've called them all J blogs, followed by uh, a number, just to show you it goes all the way down to there. We're just going to concentrate on Joe blogs one uh, and explain what all the different columns do and the columns which are hidden and the um, rows which are hidden. So first of all we have a surname, forename, which year they're in. This can change. When they move to year 8 it becomes an 8. When it moves to year 9 it becomes a 9. Uh, furthermore um, we have the uh, form, the key stage 2 SAT result, uh, also the yearly target for year 7. You'll get that from somewhere in your school. Uh, and then we have um, something called mean um, assessing pupils progress. That's just the average taken of all of the 20 threads of APP. Um, I don't think it's meant to be done every single term. It's just meant to be done at the children's pace over three years. And so these numbers here for Joe Blogs at first will change and can be replaced by uh, improved uh, grades um, throughout the three years of Key Stage 3. Uh, over here we have in green uh, the sum of the marks, 19 in Joe Blog's case, for the uh, termly range and content test. On this spreadsheet that equates to level 5.3 in the first test. Um, by the time it got around to Easter time we had a second test, Joe Blog's one got 20 marks and that constitutes uh, level 4.8 and on average that gives 5.1 for year 7. That average appears all the way back over here which we combine with the uh, mean APP grade and we calculate the national curriculum level. I'll show you how that's calculated in a second but at the moment Joe Blogs 1 is 0.2 uh, levels above the target which is over here and you can see that basically it's not red because he's doing better than we thought he would do. Now back to that national curriculum level, okay, uh, why did we get 4.8 when we add 4.5 and 5.1? Well, on this spreadsheet I've hidden uh, lots of stuff which just gets in the way of normal spreadsheets and here it is. It's hideable assessment uh, focus levels uh, and level breakdowns are in rows 4 to 11. So if I just click uh, between 3 and 13 and unhide these cells after right clicking uh, we'll see what that means. Joe Bloggs is down here so let's remember that we're talking about these three levels here. Well in my school and your school may be different uh, we've decided that a national curriculum level is worth 40% uh, APP and 60% range and content tests. Changing these numbers here simply changes what this is. If we wanted 50% I'd type 0.5 and 0.5 and Joe Bloggs levels changes slightly. However you'll change it for whatever your school wants. The number on roll simply adds up all the people down the column from Joe Blogs 1 down to Joe Blogs 250. These are all the national curriculum levels and these are the yearly targets because it's in row F where the yearly targets are written down and so these numbers here represent the spread of pupils in year 7 who will be getting all of the different levels if they meet their yearly target. Over here is what's happening in uh, the national curriculum levels as they've moved through the year. And this includes tests, range of content, and it includes the mean APP score. This column here, starting at M and moving all the way through to AF, has at a slight angle uh, the longhand for what each of the individual AFs is. Uh, some people like this, some people don't. It's in there so you can see what it is if you want it. Um, if you don't want it, right click on the row and hide it. There's also hideable columns F, G and H because this child, as the rest of the year, will not always be in year 7. When they move up, we'll simply unhide them. We calculated these for Joe Blogs based on the uh, data that we had from Key Stage 2. Uh, we expect Joe Blogs by the end of year 9 to leave with a level 6 and in year 8 to have moved to 5.3 and as we said earlier his yearly target for year 7 is 4.6 so there we go that is the data uh, number crunched uh, for um, the whole year group and when it moves from one year to the next 
okay it's fairly straightforward we just change that number there and all the calculations based upon what that child is actually doing uh, will appear here automatically um, and that's it for now so please look at the other videos uh, where we look at some other aspects of the spreadsheet